The Network Journal is proud to present the 18th Annual 25 Influential Black Women in Business Awards Program, presented by Morgan Stanley, honoring 25 extraordinary women defining excellence through their commitment to professional excellence and their community. The Network Journal would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the business community who nominated all of this year's honorees. Presenting sponsor, Morgan Stanley. Platinum sponsor, Aflac, and the additional sponsors of this year's program. L'Oreal USA, Entergy, African American Golfers Digest, AfricaStrictlyBusiness.com, and the Network Journal. And now, we give you the year 2016 25 Influential Black Women in Business Award recipients. Stephan E. Allison, DHSC PA. Born in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Stephan E. Allison has a bachelor's degree in physician assistant studies from Long Island University, master's degrees in business administration and healthcare management from the University of Maryland University College, a third master's in physician assistant studies from the University of Nebraska, and a doctorate in health science from Nova Southeastern University. Her career has evolved from pediatrics, adolescent, and internal medicine clinician serving the underprivileged to her position today as Vice President of Cardiovascular Services and Case Management at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. Allison coaches and mentors individuals and professional and community groups. She conducts health and motivational symposiums and holds a Six Sigma black belt. Stephan E. Allison. Letty H. Ashworth. As Director of Global Diversity at Delta Airlines, Letty H. Ashworth must make sure that the company's workforce both reflect the demographics of an increasingly interconnected world and at the same time be efficient and effective. She has led Delta's efforts around human trafficking, even testifying to the House Committee on Foreign Affairs in support of those efforts, and serves on the board of the Global Business Coalition Against Human Trafficking and on the McCain Institute Human Trafficking Advisory Board. Ashworth has a bachelor's degree from Spelman College and a master's from the University of Michigan. Her professional and civic service extends to Delta's company-wide mentoring program, work with Habitat for Humanity, and participation in Relay for Life events. Letty H. Ashworth. Deborah A. Baker. Deborah A. Baker is a managing director in BNY Mellon's Technology Solutions. In that position, she is charged with heading a diverse team called Global Risk Solutions. Baker has more than 25 years experience in management, performance analytics, and project planning. An economics graduate magna cum laude of Niagara University, she is committed to being an effective leader who makes a positive difference in the careers and lives of others. Since the recent passing of her father, Baker says, outside of work, Sunday dinners with her large extended family make her happy and fulfilled. She is the board chair of the YWCA City of New York, a former board member for the Women's Bond Club, and maintains an active bucket list that includes publishing a novel. Deborah A. Baker. Sheila S. Boston, Esquire. As a products liability attorney at the law firm K. Scholler LLP, Sheila S. Boston interfaces with some of the most intelligent and talented scientists and medical experts in the world. She has used the experience in this area of law to help members of the community and hopes to have time to provide more pro bono legal services in the future. A 2008 recipient of the Network Journal's 40 Under 40 Achievement Award, Boston is a graduate of Princeton University and Columbia Law School. Her numerous industry awards include the New York Law Journal's Lifetime Achievement Award and the New York City Bar Association's Diversity Champion Award. Boston devotes her personal time to family and church activities. Attorney Sheila S. Boston. Angela A. Brown. Angela A. Brown is the founder, president, and CEO of Victory Global Solutions, Inc., a systems engineering, IT, and consulting firm serving commercial and government clients. Victory Global is blazing a trail as one of the highest performing small businesses in its niche for more than 15 years. Last year, the firm began an upgrade of the U.S. Air Force's cybersecurity infrastructure. 
Brown majored in business at Howard University and obtained an MBA from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School. From healing missions and ministry in the U.S. and Brazil, to mentoring and coaching entrepreneurs through her initiative, I Entrepreneur Thrive, Brown enjoys serving others. Currently, she is designing a program on running a business during times of personal crisis. Angela A. Brown Tracy L. Brown, Esquire As managing partner at the Cochrane Firm in New York City, Tracy L. Brown specializes in employment discrimination, civil rights, and municipal liability. She learned self-assurance from her father, the late Ronald Brown, who was the first African-American U.S. Commerce Secretary. Another famous mentor of hers was the late attorney Johnny Cochran, after whom her firm is named. Brown earned a bachelor's degree in political science and philosophy at Boston College and a law degree from St. John's University School of Law. She served as deputy DA in Los Angeles and senior counsel at the Federal Trade Commission in Washington, D.C. A marathon runner, she is active in the Lynx, Inc., Jack and Jill, the Ron Brown Scholars, the National Smart Set, and the National Child Labor Committee. Attorney Tracy L. Brown. Don Davis. Don Davis is vice president at Simon & Schuster, Inc.'s Atria Publishing Group and publisher of 37 Inc., a boutique imprint she launched within Atria and which has published several New York Times bestsellers to date. Davis has spent 25 years in the publishing industry, including 12 years directing HarperCollins' Amistad imprint. She has become one of the most recognized African Americans in book publishing. Davis graduated from Stanford University, spent two years on Wall Street in an analyst program, and won a Rotary Scholarship that took her to Nigeria. Living in Africa was a dream of hers post-college. Now, she dreams of studying another language in an immersive way with her family, perhaps Italian in Italy or Spanish in Spain. Dawn Davis. Shakara N. Delgado, Esquire. Shakara N. Delgado is Senior Vice President of Employment and Benefits Law at Realogy Holdings Corp., a leading provider of real estate and relocation services. She chose law, she says, to have the opportunity to ensure fair treatment for people of all ethnicities and backgrounds. Delgado earned a bachelor's degree from Seton Hall University and a law degree from Rutgers School of Law. She is a founding member of the Realogy Diversity and Inclusion Council, a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Inc., graduate of the Federal Bureau of Investigation Citizens Academy, and previously served on the Advisory Council for the National Association of Minority and Women-Owned Law Firms. She now is a member of the Executive Leadership Council, a trustee for Tri-County Scholarship Fund, and a mentor to middle school girls. Attorney Shakara N. Delgado. Pamela Frederick. Pamela Frederick, Director and Fixed Income Derivatives Product Specialist at Citigroup, is doing exactly what she has wanted to do since she was an undergraduate economics major at the University of Michigan. What Frederick most appreciates about her career is the perspective she has gained with respect to the world's economic ties. Not only is she working in the financial industry, exploring global capital markets, but she also has done so in Africa, where she served on the board of the Sirleaf Market Women's Fund of Liberia, a nonprofit. Frederick also spends time in service to communities in the United States, and once organized and led a group of students from Paul Robeson High School in Brooklyn, New York, to compete in the model United Nations. Pamela Frederick. Gail Gibson Gale, EDD. As Essex County College President, Gail Gibson Gale appreciates the broad reach of her position. She helped to double the graduation rate at Essex in just under three years and is changing lives. Previously, Gail was a professor and the founding dean of the College of Freshman Studies at Medgar Evers College of the City University of New York. Born in Barbados, Gibson Gale holds a Doctorate of Education from North Carolina State University. She received her bachelor's and master's degrees from Binghamton University, State University of New York. A tennis enthusiast and Alpha Kappa Alpha Soror, Gale hopes to become the chancellor of a college or university. Dr. Gail Gibson Gale. 
Yvonne J. Graham, RN. Yvonne J. Graham is Associate Commissioner and Director of the Office of Minority Health at New York State Department of Health. She was a founding member of the Caribbean Women's Health Association in Brooklyn, New York, and served as its Executive Director for 15 years. Her 10 years as Brooklyn's Deputy Borough President, with primary responsibility for health policy, helped to prepare Graham for her current role. Graham graduated as a registered nurse from the University of the West Indies School of Nursing in her native Jamaica. In the U.S., Graham obtained a bachelor's degree in health administration and community health from St. Joseph's College, a master's in public health from Hunter College, completed the executive program in business administration at Columbia University School of Business, and was conferred an honorary law degree by St. Joseph's. Associate Commissioner Yvonne J. Graham. Deborah R. Hudnell. Deborah R. Hudnell is Senior Vice President of Human Resources and the first African-American executive at Silverstein Properties, Inc., one of New York's most respected real estate firms. She began as a clerk in 1981 and now develops, implements, and oversees human resource practices that ensure a balanced program throughout the company's departments and properties while maintaining its core values, integrity, respect, and collegiality. Hudnell attended Kingsborough Community College of the City University of New York and is currently studying to become a senior certified professional through the Society for Human Resource Management. She enjoys mentoring high school and college-bound women to help build their self-confidence and enhance their personal and professional development. Deborah R. Hudnell. Nicole CanCam. Nicole CanCam is Managing Director of Marketing at the United States Tennis Association. Her current position at the USTA affords her the opportunity to work on a project that manifests itself in a product that is enjoyed by fans across the world, the US Open. Her responsibilities include leading branding, advertising, and promotions to drive ticket sales, viewership, and fan engagement. Prior to joining USTA, CanCam's career has been highlighted by positions in such notable brands as World Wrestling Entertainment Inc., MTV, and Atlantic Records. CanCam graduated with honors from DePaul University and earned an MBA from New York University Stern School of Business with a full scholarship from the Consortium for Graduate Study and Management. Nicole CanCam. Antoinette Tony Leatherberry. Antoinette Tony Leatherberry is a principal at Deloitte Consulting LLP. She has spent most of her professional life at Deloitte, where she was hired as a senior consultant right out of graduate school 24 years ago. She holds a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Boston University and an MBA from Northeastern University. Leatherberry serves on several advisory boards, including Widener University's Board of Trustees and the Executive Leadership Council's Board of Directors. She is a member of STEM Connectors Innovation Task Force, which brings together corporate, government, and education leaders to address STEM talent development challenges and chairs its National Career Accelerator Day. Leatherberry has also introduced thousands of children to STEM careers through the Clinton Global Initiative. Accepting the award on behalf of Antoinette Leatherberry is Juwanda Roberts, Alliance's Business Development Senior Manager at Deloitte. Adrian R. Lofton. Adrian R. Lofton is Senior Vice President of Global Brand Marketing at sportswear company Under Armour Incorporated. It's a role that gives her the opportunity to deliver game-changing marketing platforms in industries she is most passionate about and particularly close to her heart. Lofton has spent most of her career honing in on what it takes to win the hearts and minds of the multicultural community. She sharpened those skills during her tenure at General Motors Plan Works and Target Corp and Gap Inc., her first job after obtaining a bachelor's degree at Howard University. Initiated into Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Inc., Lofton was a Division I scholarship athlete and captain of the Howard University volleyball team. Adrian R. Lofton. Renetta McCann. Renetta McCann is the chief talent officer at Leo Burnett, a publicist group company that counts some of the world's most recognizable brands as its clients. 
She heads the agency's People and Culture Department, overseeing U.S. recruitment, training, benefits, and talent management. McCann uses her position and influence to champion women and the development of minorities in the advertising industry, devoting time to such organizations as Viva Women, the Publicist Group Internal Women's Network, and to number 266, an organization launched in 2013 to advance the hiring rate of minorities in advertising. McCann holds a bachelor's degree in speech and a master's in learning and organizational change from Northwestern University, where she joined the adjunct faculty this year. Renetta McCann. Marie McKenzie. Marie McKenzie is the Vice President of Global Destination Services and Sourcing at Carnival Corporation and PLC. As part of this function, she leads a team of brand experts responsible for geographical regions on behalf of the company's 10 brands. McKenzie joined Carnival in 1996 and since has held roles of increasing responsibility. McKenzie has an accounting degree from Howard University and a master's in international business from Florida International University. She worked for her entire college education and in the process acquired her formula for success. Apply myself, do the research, work really hard, and have faith. Born in Jamaica, West Indies, Mackenzie is deeply involved with the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Southern Florida and Honey Shine Inc. Marie Mackenzie. Raquel Odin. Head of Advisor Strategy and Development for Merrill Lynch Wealth Management, Raquel Odin leads new development programs and business development and client acquisition for the company's more than 14,000 advisors. She hires more than 1,700 advisors a year, using her commitment to diversity to hire women and minorities and thereby change the face of wealth management on Wall Street. Odin earned her bachelor's degree from James Madison University and an MBA from Hampton University. She sits on the board of Thurgood Marshall College Fund, is a member of the Women's Financial Association, and an executive board member of the National Visionary Leadership Project, which archives African-American history. Raquel Odin. Constance Orlando. Constance Orlando is Senior Vice President for Specials, Music Programming, and News at BET Networks. While she has produced such popular specials as the BET Awards and the Soul Train Awards, she cites the greatest highlight of her BET tenure as being the executive producer of Black Girls Rocks. Orlando graduated from Syracuse University with a bachelor's degree in finance. She launched a full-service production company, CMO Productions, and partnered with rapper businessman Jay-Z to produce a direct-to-video movie soundtrack, The Streets Is Watching. Orlando is launching her very own nonprofit foundation, Just the Girls. She serves on the advisory board for Clark Atlanta University's TV department as programming committee chair. Constance Orlando. Lisa Price. Lisa Price is the founder of Carol's Daughter, a beauty brand whose body lotions, hair care products, and fragrances first were manufactured in her kitchen in Brooklyn, New York with her own blends of natural oils and botanicals. Price subsequently authored the book, Success Never Smelled So Sweet. Price recently sold the Carol's Daughter brand to cosmetics giant L'Oreal USA in a deal said to be worth millions. She cautions aspiring entrepreneurs to never tire of telling their own story. Price is involved in community fundraising walks and gala events for the Lupus Foundation of America. Most recently, she was appointed a member of the National Women's Business Council. Accepting today's TNJ Award on behalf of Lisa Price is Cecilia Nelson from L'Oreal's Office of Diversity and Inclusion. Jocelyn Rainey, PHR. As the Chief Administrative Officer at Brooklyn Navy Yard Development Corp., Jocelyn Rainey, a certified professional in human resources, is the point person on developing human capital. The Human Resources and Workforce Development Departments report directly to her. Rainey is responsible for administrative operations and for engaging with minority and women-owned business suppliers. A member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Inc., Rainey has a bachelor's degree in sociology from Southern Connecticut State University, a master's in administration from Audrey Cohen College, and a certificate in business excellence from Columbia Business School. She considers giving back a responsibility all must honor. Jocelyn Rainey. 
Susan K. Reed. Susan K. Reed used critical life skills learned as an immigrant from Jamaica to work her way from Assistant Director of Student Affairs and Minority Student Services at New York University through more than a decade of diversity, recruiting, and human resource functions at Marsh & McLennan Companies, R.R. Donnelly and Bell Atlantic to her current position as Managing Director and Global Head of Diversity and Inclusion at Morgan Stanley. Reed earned a bachelor's degree in economics and political science at NYU. A marathon runner, she is a member of Morgan Stanley's Human Resources Operating Committee and serves on the boards for the Morgan Stanley Foundation and the Storefront Academy, which caters to students in New York City's Harlem and surrounding communities. Susan K. Reed. <laughs> Terry R. Collins Reyes. Terry R. Collins Reyes is a founding partner at International Transport Solutions Express Incorporated. Launched in 2000, ITS Express is a multi-million dollar delivery, courier, and logistics company that Reyes refers to as the white glove of transportation. Its client list includes Major League Baseball, the NBA, Sesame Street Workshop, and ABC News Disney. Collins Reyes is a member of the Theta Iota Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc., the Long Island chapter of the Lynx Inc., and the National Coalition of 100 Black Women, Long Island chapter. She earned a bachelor's degree at Long Island University, CW Post Campus, and currently is an MBA candidate at SUNY Empire State College. Terry R. Collins Reyes. Janine T. Uzel. Janine T. Uzel is Global Operations Manager with the External Affairs and Technology Programs team of GE Global Research. She joined GE as a recruit for its healthcare business and pioneered the company's $6 billion Healthy Imagination Initiative in rural Asia and Africa. Uzel earned a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from North Carolina A&T State University, an MBA in international business from Fairleigh Dickinson University in New Jersey. Uzel established the HOPE mission. She is a board member for the International Black Women's Public Policy Institute and co-chairs the Medical Device Task Force for the innovative working group hosted by the United Nations. Janine T. Uzel. Carol Wallace. As Chief Diversity Officer in the office of New York City Comptroller Scott M. Stringer, Carol Wallace's mission is to ensure that minority-owned businesses in New York seize this prime moment of the city's and state's aggressive goal-setting for such businesses. She works with Comptroller Stringer's corporate governance team on supplier, workplace, and board diversity initiatives and the Borough of Asset Management's diverse and emerging investment manager strategies. She also leads the Comptroller's Minority Women Business Enterprise Advisory Council, a global marathoner, Wallace is a board member of the Eagle Academy for Young Men. She has a bachelor's degree from Pepperdine University and a master's of public administration from Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs. Kara Wallace. Our congratulations to all of the honorees for their hard work, efforts, success, and achievements on behalf of their organizations and our community.